Hello everyone. This is the second hour of our How to Talk About Health and Health Issues in my Getting Results in English series. I was normally I was doing this class normally on a Sunday, but I haven't been able to get time slots, so I've moved it to whenever I can find time. So this week it's going to be Friday afternoon. Next week it's going to be I think Tuesday and Thursday. So join in to the fun. This series is all about getting you fluent in f fluent fast in general English through clear realistic goals. And today our clear realistic goals is well actually one goal, which is just reading about a strange health issue, that's what we did in the first hour, and then analyzing some of the language we used and putting it into practice. We're going to do a little role play where we get to diagnose someone. So join in to the class and it would be great to have you here and learn about health and health issues and discuss it and that kind of thing. So that's a bit about my class. Here's a bit about me. I'm John Eric, your Verbling teacher for this hour, and I'm an American teacher from New York hanging out today from Lisbon, Portugal to bring you this class. And by the way, here are three quick rules to help you participate in my class. Rule number one is turn off, two is tune in, and number three is open up. That means, number one, turn off your microphone. Try to keep it off until you speak, otherwise we may get a lot of noise in the background. Rule number two is tune in to the new words that you're going to learn. Use them as actively as you can throughout the class so that you get the practice you need. And I'll be here to give you feedback. And rule number three, open up to your classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn. And this is a safe and respectful place to practice your English. By the way, at the end of class, I'm going to give you a set of links where you can stay in touch with me. You'll be able to, you can follow me on Verbling, meet a tweet, interact with me on Facebook or Google+, watch one of my old classes on my YouTube channel or one of my videos, and you can even schedule a private class with me directly. So that's a little bit about me, and now I'd like to turn it over to our returning champions, Mr. Sergio, Ms. Hande, Dr. Giuseppe, and Yuki, who's taking a bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be here eventually. Uh, so I couldn't find, in the 30 seconds I was gone, I couldn't find the thing about Italy I was looking for. But I did find, uh, remember I was talking about the word hysteria. I want to just share a little bit of uh, background about the word hysteria. Um, I'll share my screen because I was trying to explain this before, but I probably didn't get it right. So here we go. I, w I found this little blurb at the beginning of my brief research. Hysteria was the first mental disorder attributed to women, and only women, a catch-all for symptoms including, and by no means limited to, nervousness, hallucinations, emotional outbursts, and various urges of the sexual variety. More on that below. Uh, to make clear how far we've come in our understanding of women's mental health and how far we have to go, here are, a, uh, okay, so then this is a little article that talks about uh, hysteria and what, you know, and modern myths. <laughs> uh, was that the part that I wanted to read? Ah, here it is. The ancient Greeks believed, uh, okay, in the 5th century, uh, uh, Hippocrates, founder of Western medicine, uh, said in what may, may not go down as his greatest achievement, he first coined the term hysteria from hystera or uterus, and also attributed to the cause of abnormal movements. So we still say that today. I, I find that absolutely perplexing that we still use this term, it's kind of like calling uh, Native Americans Indians. Well, we know it's not India by the 21st century, uh, but we still, okay, not so much anymore, but we still say Indians. Well, we now say American Indians. Uh, anyway, kind of something similar. People tend to say that. In fact, there's a big controversy right now because there's a football team, the Washington Redskins, that has a racist mascot because redskin was a racist term for Indians. They were red people. Uh, and there's a big controversy because uh, obviously uh, Indian uh, Native American tribes don't want that anymore. 
and there's a lot of resistance to changing the name of the team. So Hyundai, you're a woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, don't you do you think it's do you think we should stop using the term hysteria because it has this strange medical history that's based on something completely false or do you think it's okay because we've it no longer really mm -hmm. means that what do you think do you think it's a sexist word i don't think because like you said it's um i think it has its own meaning now it's not uh, just about women and uh, I don't find it offensive now. Really? I find it offensive. <laughs> <laughs> but it, 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 it still means uterus in Greek. <laughs> so sure, maybe Greek women, Greek women find it should offensive, say it. yeah. Mm. All right. Well, I'm always trying to get the female perspective, and now I know. <laughs> uh, all right. So. I just wanted to bring that up because I, I didn't remember exactly. I knew it was a Greek origin, but I wasn't sure, and then I just saw that. Um, so what do I want to do? I want to I want us to work with some of this vocabulary. That's what I want to do. We've done a little bit of work talking about diseases. Um, let me ask you just a few questions about the text, just to make sure everything is, is clear about what we read. Um, first of all, does anyone think that the Tanzanian laughing epidemic was a serious threat to public health? Because remember, they did try to contain it, and they 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 put out measures to contain it, just like it was. Um, what do you call it? Uh, what's the name of the What's the name of the infection? A meningitis. You know, if you have an infection of the uh, the the layer, the cells that surround the brain or the, or the spinal cord, right? It's called meningitis. It's a very serious uh, infection. It can be viral or it can be bacteria. And if anyone gets it, they have to be isolated, right? And that's what they did with the laughing epidemic. They isolated people and because they didn't know how to treat it. Do you think that was a good idea or a bad idea? What do you think? Uh, Giuseppe, do you think that was an overreaction on their part? Um, I think it, it was a good idea to isolate uh, every, everyone who, who got the, the, the virus. Well, we don't know. They didn't know what it was, right? <laughs> you mean about the laughing epidemic or in general? By in general. Oh, in general, yeah. It's a good idea in general. But do you think it was a good idea in this case or do you think they were overreacting? Um, in this case, uh, I think it was overreacting. You think it was overreacting. So what should they have done? Should they have just tried to, to test people? Well, they did test people, and they found no physical reason for, for the problem. Um, remember the, the bird flu uh, in 2000 and what, 2002, was it? I think it was in 2002, 2001. Remember that? Yeah, I remember the kind of virus that influenced a lot of people. That um, was uh, was was in, that uh, infected infected a lot of people. Right. Uh, in the world in general. Uh, in, in, in Italy. Germany. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> speak, Hande. Speak. Oh yeah, you say. I think you're saying to Giuseppe. Okay, I I, I was saying that um, Japanese people still wearing masks because of that uh, virus, bird virus. I see them on Istanbul when I talk to them. They still they think that uh, they um, bird virus. What we call it? Bird flu. Bird flu. Okay, and they think that it still exists. I think it is not. Uh, of course, uh, mm, I think it is. Uh, it is not uh, 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 Japanese people uh, wear mask not because of uh, bad of bad flu, uh, but uh, they they get to get used to. They are used to now uh, wearing mask. Why? I don't know. Why? That's because what they told me. because. <laughs> 
uh, Japanese people always caring about others. So if you have a Mm, if you have a co cold, you <laughs> Japanese don't want to Japanese, infect, infect Japanese to are very others. polite. They're very polite people. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't want to infect to others, so we um, protect uh, um, others from from your cold. <laughs> <laughs> Such a way of thinking. So, uh, so mm, uh, the 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 big the big flus, the big in influenza viruses, yes, uh, they don't uh, they, they don't originate in Japan. They normally yes. originate in China. China, China. Yes, yeah. Now, uh, air pollution is a big problem. Not to, uh, mm, uh, it it is a very serious pro problem in. In China, but but uh, air pollution uh, come to uh, uh, um, influence spread. Oh, oh, oh okay, influences. Okay, influence influence to uh, spread to, to uh, spread to also in Japan. So people take caution and wearing mask. And and uh, and I I would like to. Uh, I'd like to mention as well that that uh, in Japan there is a very serious problem in in April. Uh, it is a um, uh, how to say po Poland. 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 So, yes, Poland. 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 No, no. Ah, Poland. Poland. From the from the plants and trees, you mean? Yes, plants of tree. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh, Japan, Japan has uh, mm, uh, Japan has uh, many many mountains, and there are many uh, trees. Uh, uh, especially Japanese sea ducks. Uh, um, uh, Japanese sea ducks sea ducks spread spread the uh, cedars. C e d a r. C d a C D C A R right? Cedar. Okay. Cedar. Okay. Japanese cedar spreads a, a great amount of uh, pollen, pollen, pollens. So it, uh, so there is many people have allergy of of cedar pollen. Allergy so, or allergy? Uh, allergy. 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 Yeah. Allergic. Yeah, they're allergic. Allergy. Allergic, so they so many Japanese wear the mask, uh, especially in spring. Absolutely. So, so it's a it's a cultural thing. Yes. Too. Now, now it's uh, quite popular. It is quite uh, become common to wear the mask, not only in spring, all over, all, 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 all year. So I think it is not because of uh, bad, bad flu. Now, now Japanese. It's <laughs> it's also very common for Japanese people to dress up like pigeons and stand in front of cameras too. So. Uh, Japanese it, have a it, it, yes, it kind of. So, <laughs> Japanese have a lot of interesting so, customs. Japanese Japanese people wear the mask like like you wear the hat on on <laughs> on, on your head. If I saw Sergio, if you saw someone wearing a mask walking around Brazil, what would you do? Would you be afraid? Uh, uh, maybe. Uh, actually, he's not. Uh, a normally uh, behave, but when you see some someone with a mask, probably wow, well, he's contagious. He's something. Yeah, that's what this. I would think too. If I saw yeah. people wearing uh, uh, like a surgical mask, the first thing I would do is run away, because uh, it wouldn't occur to me that they were trying to stop me from getting their cold. I, I would. I, I, I. The first thing I would assume is that it's tuberculosis. And that the doctor is making them wear a mask because they're contagious. <laughs> That's the first thing that yeah, I would think is. of. Yeah, TB. Yeah. I, I know. I know so many people that have gotten tuberculosis uh, in, uh, like, like they th on the subway. They think it's on the subway in Lisbon. Uh, like, I'm trying to think how many people. Uh, 
about a quarter of the people that I've met here have told, I mean, either had it or had gotten it as an adult, which scares the hell out of me. I, I don't understand how that's possible. But, um, and, and one, one friend uh, had to wear a mask for like a year and had to take massive amounts of uh, antibiotics or something like that. It's really scary. So the first thing I, I think of when I see a, a mask is run away as far as you can. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just ask a few questions about the article just to make sure that everything was clear about what we read. The teenage girls started laughing after one of them told a joke. True, false, or and why? What do you think? Yuki, what do yes, you think? Yes, I... Uh, sorry, uh, could, you, could you repeat again? Three teenage girls started laughing after one of them told a joke. It's true. Yes, yes, it's true. It, it, it is kind of a, a, a bit epidemic. <laughs> uh, I, I know... Uh, Asobina, it is common among Japanese girls, <laughs> as teen, teenagers, among, among teenagers, if one, if one uh, uh, Japanese teenager girls, if one girl uh, be, be, began to laugh, uh, others uh, continuously, other, others. Uh, um, what do we call that when everyone? Uh, what do we call that when everyone starts laughing? We say that it is. What's the word? When it spreads, it is. It is epidemic. It is not an epidemic. That's when it spreads to. It is, uh, in con, infectious, con, infectious. Con, infectious or con, contagious. Um, contagious. Contagious. Right, which is number 16. If you look on page 5 of our vocabulary, I just put it there, contagious. It's contagious. It spreads. By the way, the answer is not true or false because the article doesn't say specifically how it started. So it's not clear. So it's not false, but it's not 100% clear. So I'm going to say, doesn't say. So true, false, or doesn't say. Here it's doesn't say. Hande, here's one for you. Tell me what you think. The teachers at the school couldn't stop laughing. True or false? False. They didn't laugh. They, did, they didn't catch it. it was, they didn't mm -hmm. get infected. Giuseppe, yeah. number three. You could be infected simply by seeing a person having an attack of laughter. True or false? False. False? Okay, why? How would you get infected? No, I can't be infected by seeing uh, people, a uh, girl or a woman, or, um, or a guy uh, laughing. In so, the answer, is so the answer is true. Uh, true answer. True, true. You, you could be. The answer you, is true. Okay. Okay. I agree. That's what it says. Uh, Sergio, here's one for you. Number four, fourth question. True or false? True or false or you don't know? Mm -hmm. Girls never passed on the infection to their female relatives. Girls never passed on their infection to their female relatives. True or false, according to the article, Sergio? Uh, false. False. If, uh, yeah. But there, yeah. there is a, a, a comment because if a relative is... Uh, under the no older, right? Maybe it's in the in the uh, I, I'm not sure, but I think uh, I I I read uh, something like uh, ah, but no for relative. I don't know, maybe for friends. Uh, if I uh, are older, uh, he is free for the 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 older men. Did the older man. Ah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but the but the, but female relatives did. So it's it's yeah. true. It's absolutely true. Uh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. It's false. No, it's false. <laughs> it's yeah. false. Right, false. <laughs> sorry, false. I'm confused. Okay, number five, Yuki. There don't seem to be any physical causes for for the laughing epidemic. True or false? Uh, true. True. Uh, uh, no. Um, uh, here it, it is written that 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 the put um, uh, um, bio, um, virus or toxic substance in food have not been found. Exactly. So they couldn't figure out what it was. They think it was later. They thought perhaps it was just mass hysteria. But we don't like that word. 
even if Hyundai likes it, I don't like it. We have to call it something else. Hyundai, investigators thought there may have been a toxic substance uh, in bread. So they were eating bread that was infected with something. True or false? False. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we just made it out. Yes. <laughs> uh, Maybe. Giuseppe. Mushroom, it, of course. The, 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 the mushroom was like... <laughs> Because they weren't in they weren't in Japan they were they were in <laughs> Uganda. <laughs> Giuseppe, the Strasbourg epidemic was caused by stress. Listen again, the Strasbourg epidemic was caused by stress. True or false? The stress stress I uh, I don't get it. The first first words the first uh, words stress. Strasbourg. Remember, I think Yuki was reading about the Strasbourg epidemic, which was similar to the one in Tanzania. Similar but different. Remember the one that happened in, uh, in the 16th century at the very end of the article? Uh, Do you remember? It's the last, last paragraph. Uh -huh. What was the, uh, Giuseppe, what was the difference between the Strasbourg epidemic and the Tanzanian epidemic. Do you remember the difference? Um, Strasbourg, uh, uh, do you mean the, the meat uh, uh, infected by a, a virus or something else? Or something? Uh, no. <laughs> I no. don't mean that. <laughs> what do you, can anyone tell me what the Strasbourg uh, epidemic uh, was? Uh, epidemic it was Hanna, they, they, what was it? They were dancing. They couldn't Strasbourg? stop dancing. That's right. so strange. I don't they, understand how, how can a person start dancing and cannot stop. And, and not only that, they danced until they died. Yeah. They danced until they died. Well, there was no TV news back then. Well, no, yeah, and there was no YouTube. So we don't know how reliable this was. But, uh, but apparently there were 400 people affected and they danced until they died. So my question was, uh, it was caused by stress. True or false? False. False. That is correct. It is false. They don't know. They don't know if it was caused by stress. Uh, is it possible that it was caused by stress? I don't is think it possible? so. possible? I think so. Why you, do, why do you not you think got so? the stress and you <laughs> No no just from just from you reading just, <laughs> just just from reading the just from reading the article because it says they were under stress because there was a famine. So they were in a you know, they were under a lot of stress because they couldn't feed themselves and probably it was related to being under an immense amount of stress and they started acting crazy. So I think it's possible. I don't know. I'm not saying that's the reason, but it's not. It's not totally, uh, not totally improbable that it was caused I, by stress. I I I read the article about uh, laughing, uh, laughing, laughing mushroom. Uh, <laughs> it is. It, I, you're, sorry. Yuki, it is, you're you're obsessed. <laughs> it is similar to uh, uh, Strasbourg cases. Uh, people 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 see uh, see someone laughing. Just laughing, but uh, uh, people who uh, person who eat ma laughing mush mushroom uh, feel feel they he is not laughing. He his his face is just paralyzed by uh, by 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 the by the poison of uh, poison of mushroom. He he he. He don't think he he is laughing. He do just just and just um, struggling strug from from poison. But uh, around people around uh, regard regard it as uh, regard it of laughing. So I think dancing case is the same. Could uh, be. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> There's only one way to find out. We have to eat the mushrooms. It's, it's the only way we're going to know for sure. Um, but 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 it it's such a symptom is well known. So people easy 
maybe doctor easily uh, find out that that it is uh, that, that it is because of laughing mushroom. So well, I think I think it's totally possible that it's a, that it's something environmental. Uh, I think it's, personally, I think it's possible, but because at the time in 1964, they didn't they might not have had the technology to uh, to to really determine what it, you know if it was an envi if it was a virus uh, it might not have been able and they were also in in an underdeveloped country and they might not have been able to get the equipment that they needed in the right place at the right time so uh, it's part of up on the 15 ah uh, no 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 this one the laughing one is 1964 Ah, yes, yes. Uh, I, I mean Strasbourg. Strasbourg was in the 16th century. Yeah, a long ah, yes. time ago. I see. But I think it's, I think it's not out of the realm of possibility because uh, other things can cause reactions, like you said. Okay, the mushroom, but there's other things too that can cause it. Um, it can be a kind of a seizure. Uh, you can have a seizure. Let me tell you something. Do you know about? The, I, I, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> there's, a, there's a great story. There's a great story about uh, you know some people who have epilepsy, and they have all kinds of strange reactions uh, because depending on where you have the seizure in your brain, if you have a seizure here in this part of your brain, in the uh, temporal region of your brain, you uh, you have like you know religious experiences for example or the world becomes suddenly very meaningful and important uh, and uh, one of the reasons we know about this is because a famous neuroscientist not I say famous not famous for the public but a well-known neuroscientist had epilepsy and uh, she she did a case study on herself to talk about her epilepsy she was having a kind of it's not epilepsy but a kind of a seizure and and she started to write a oh. journal and she told the story that she became so obsessed with writing in her journal because everything she wrote was so important it was about to change the world that she almost killed herself because she started to write in her journal when she was driving and when she was riding her bike she she'd be riding and writing in her journal because <laughs> she was convinced that she had to get the words out immediately and change the world i have this problem every day uh, <laughs> but, and then, you know, like when you're asleep, you're having a dream, and you think you have the answer to life, and then you wake up, and you're like, <laughs> it's like that. Uh, and it's not just some hysteria. She really had a medical condition. She had a complication from pregnancy uh, uh, after she was pregnant, and she had a kind of a, a kind of a seizure something that they could with an MRI they could scan her brain and they could see exactly what happened it went away cleared up so it was not permanent but it's really happened so I completely believe that there could be an environmental reason for this it doesn't sound so crazy mm. but we have to talk a little bit about ability and grammar so what I want you to do is taking a look at our text um, I want you to tell me how many uh, I want you to underline examples of ability. Oh, you can't underline it. I'm sorry. Uh, I want you to define a few examples of sentences that talk about ability, because in this in this little text, um, people's abilities were hampered in some way because of this epidemic or this attack, and then you also had the health authorities who were trying to handle the problem. So. Let's see if we can find, I can find one, two, three, four. I can find four different, at least four different ways that ability is discussed in the text. So can anyone find a few examples? What kind of verbs are used to talk about ability in the text? Can you find an example from the text? And let's compare answers. So take a minute, skim through it, and let's try to see if we can find no less than four different ways to have to talk about ability. Okay, we should uh, find those in the PDF, right? In the PDF, right. Okay. So skim through it and let's compare answers. I found four different uh, key expressions with four different verbs that talk about ability. Let's see how many you can find. 
whenever you're ready, just let me know, and we'll 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 pick out some answers together, or you tell me what you found. What document? I'm sorry. Look in look in the look in the PDF that we read. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Skim through it and see see how many examples you can find of sentences talking about ability. I'm going to leave this a little bit abstract because I want to see what you can come up with. Then we're going to compare our answers and let's see if we can find all four uh, examples of ability words. I and maybe there's more, but I found four. Anyone got an example yet? Good. No. Oh, give me the whole sentence. Yeah, give me the whole sentence. Uh, uh, they they couldn't stop. The very first sentence, right? Yeah. Right. They were no longer able to control the pupils. Okay, so they couldn't stop laughing. They were no longer able to control the pupils. Two different ability words there. What's the difference between them? Are we talking about the past, present, or future? So let's start with you, Yuki. Three teenage girls started laughing for some reason and they couldn't stop. What's the time here? Past, present, or future? Uh, past. Obviously, past right? Sentence. It's the past. Could is the past of can. That's yeah. one use of could. Hande, uh, in your sentence, past, present, or future? Past, present. They were no. not. Past or past or present? Past. Past. Mm -hmm. They were not able. Mm -hmm. So two different ways to talk about the past, talk about ability in the past. They couldn't stop. They were not able. Okay? Very good so far. So we, those are both uh, in the negative, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? I counted, I counted those and I counted two more. Can anyone find any other words besides able and could? Is it uh, managed? Or? Very good. Say the, read the sentence for us. The authorities only managed to control the spread of the infection by isolating mm -hmm. affected villages until the outbreak had passed. Okay. So managed, so we've got able, could, and manage to, right? Manage to control, manage to. So managed well, managed with another verb. Managed to control, managed to stop. Okay. And I accounted one more. Uh, able to. We got that one. Uh, there were no longer lasting e effects, but that the victim, victims would, would be unable to con concentrate on their studies. Unable. Unable. Okay. Unable. 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 That's it. So another form of able, uh, instead of saying not able or weren't able, is unable. So it's another negative form. Okay. So I, that's my that's that was my next question. How many negatives can you find? But wait, we still we still got one more ability word to find in the text. Able to. Uh, huh? To to this day, nobody has been able to fully explain the cause of the the pl plague. Let, let's come back to that in just a minute, uh, because no. I, that's my next question. But before we do, there's one more verb we need to find in the text that expresses ability. So besides able, and besides could, and besides manage, there's uh -huh. one more. Can you find it? Uh, repeat several times. Sorry? Repeat. Several times. Repeat several times. That's about ability. <laughs> what, what's the sentence you're reading? Which sentence uh, are you reading? Is, or give me the n give me the number or read the sentence. Oh. Mm. Uh. 
then repeat several times. Uh, uh, line uh, 20, uh, 23, 24. The laughing 23. attack lasted anything from a few minutes to a few hours, then would repeat several times. But, but that is with wood. So wood is about um, is about a repeated action, which is a little different than in Portuguese. In Portuguese, you could say "eu ia a escola todos os dias," right? In English, we would say "I would go to school every day." So "would" in English is a way to talk about a repeated action in the past. It would repeat. So it's just to say that there's a tendency it would repeat so I disagree with you there it's that's not about um, ability that's about well about about action in this case it would repeat so uh, there's uh, one, uh, uh, yeah if you consider uh, like a, a work and uh, like can you say uh, the workforce in our like a flow the 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 ground the the, the oh how can I say uh, empresa empresa company company is mm -hmm. is ability to repeat the same thing all time no but what does that have to do with ability uh, possible yeah like uh, uh, in industry and uh, in car industry car uh, maybe the, we the word repeat is just an action. So I disagree because what I'm looking for here are words that are either modal verbs like can, could, shall, should, oh, the would, okay. or 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 words that act, behave similar to modal verbs. So I think Hande, you said uh, what managed managed to do something. Control. Right. right, managed to control. So they could control. They were able to control. They managed to control. So manage is behaving like a modal verb. So it's yes. like the it's like a modal verb of ability, and it gives you another choice when you want to talk about ability. It gives you another tool in your toolkit. And there's one more besides manage to succeed. Succeed. Yes. 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 Toxic substances in food have not succeeded to in finding evidence of this. That's it. Line number thirty-two. That's it. What is it? Line number thirty-two. Investigation. Investigation into possible causes such as virus, viruses or toxic substances in food have have not succeeded in finding evidence of the of the of the. Exactly. So. Could we replace that with could or able to? Is it possible? It is possible. Giuseppe, how would you replace succeeded in in line 32 with either could or able to? Want to try to transform the sentence for us? Okay. Uh, uh, well, um, investigation into possible causes such as viruses or toxic substances in, in food uh, um, you could say have or you could say were. You, you if you you can you could change the verb if you want. Um try it try wasn't, with uh, um uh, weren't uh, uh, yes good weren't um, weren't able to find to find evidence that of this Correct. By the way, virus or virus? Uh, virus sounds like Italian. <laughs> virus. <laughs> right. Viruses. 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 Um, very good. So viruses are toxic substances. Uh, so the investigations were not able to find evidence, or the investigators were not able to find evidence. Sounds a little bit better. But that's it. That's it. So succeeded in. It's the same. It can be. It can replace. You can replace simple words like could and able to with succeed in or manage to. So it gives you a little bit of extra vocabulary. Um, 
uh, I wanted to ask you, okay, yeah, I wanted to go back to that question of how many negative expressions can you locate with able? Yuki said unable, right? Yes, couldn't. Just with able, though. Just with able, able first. Uh, so unable is one. Yes. Yuki, you said another one. You said nobody has been able to uh, whatever, whatever you said. Nobody has been able to do something. So that's a second one. Yes. And there's one more. Mm. There's three altogether. Has been able to. Nobody has been able to is ah, correct. Yes. Unable to is correct, and there's one more. But they were no longer able to control the pupils. That's it. That's it. So there was three. <clears throat> there's three examples of negative forms. Three different negative forms. Why am I telling you this? Because I want you to be aware of it. I want you to notice it. If you're aware of it, eventually you'll start to use it. Uh, so it's just good to make you more aware of what's going on. And I had one more question about the vocab about the grammar, which was give me a second. Couldn't help is an expression. Can you find it in the text? Couldn't help. Can you find the expression couldn't help in the text? Yes. Could, uh, couldn't help, could help, help joining me. Yeah. What what number is that, Hande? Ten. Line ten, okay. Mm -hmm. Read the sentence for us. The other girls who saw this couldn't help joining in, and little by little, the laughter spread until two thirds of the pupils in the school had been infected. Two thirds. Repeat. Two thirds. Third. Third. Thirds. Yeah. Uh, a third is something else. Don't say that. It's a bad word. <laughs> third is a good word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two thirds. Okay. So they couldn't help. Hande, does that mean that they weren't able to help their friends? They wanted to help their friends, but they couldn't help them? Or does that they, mean something different? They uh, couldn't help themselves, but uh, laughing with the, their friends. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to say that sentence with, I want you to replace couldn't help with the word able and I, and I want you to transform able into any form you need to for the sentence to make sense. So transform that sentence using the word able. Um, the other girls who saw this um, unable no. unable you need a verb first. Word, 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 unable. Word, were unable. Unable. We're, we're unable to, uh, but it doesn't make sense with join. It it um, doesn't make sense with join. Why? They were I don't know. the other girl. The other girls who saw this were <laughs> were unable. were unable they, to to not join in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you you can unable you can do it. And not. Yes, you can do it. The other oh, girls okay. who saw this were unable to to stop themselves from joining Join in. They, oh, okay. Other girls had no option but to. No but other to, option. No other option. No, but no other option but to, uh, but to, to join in. Exactly. No other option but to join in. Can you have two negatives in a sentence? Yes, you can. Despite what people tell you, it is possible, but. Hande, you have to just make it really clear. You only do it when you want to add extra emphasis. So you can do it, but you have to make it really clear because it can be confusing. So in my version, I added a little bit of information to the second term. The other girls who saw this were unable, okay, that's fine, to stop themselves. So I said stop themselves to give it extra emphasis. Um, if I just said they were unable to not join in, it sounds confusing. So, but to stop themselves is more clear. So it is possible to have two negatives in a sentence if you do it right. It's possible. Um, and it doesn't sound strange. It sounds fine, actually. OK, that's a little bit about the grammar. I just wanted to make you more aware of some of the important
uh, grammar issues in the text. Um, maybe what we can do here is two things. Uh, okay, quickly, I'm going to put in a little. I'm going to put in a little chart for you in your notes. So I want you to take a look on page four. Okay. On page four, and you're going to see exercise two in just a moment. Uh, you're going to see exercise two on page, sorry, page five. I have to move it down. There you go. You'll see exercise two on page five. You have a little chart which summarizes what we've been exposed to with ability. It summarizes it for us. So what we need to do is we need to fill in that chart. Um, so let's see what I can do to help you. Uh, I want you to take the examples that you found in the text. We found at least four different verbs we can use. And I want you to complete this chart. You can just talk through it uh, with a yes or no. So what do you think? Mr. Um, Mr. Uh, Giuseppe, um, you can use can and could to talk about general ability. So there's a little yes in the column. What about able? How would you, what would you put in that first column one, row one? What would you put there? Uh, particular ability. So the answer is, so what, but what about general ability? Is that a yes or no? Yes. It's correct, right. That's a yes. And what's an example that you remember? Remember an example? Uh, I have to take a look. Well, what about the one we just said? were unable to stop themselves from, from joining in. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess that's a good example, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a good example. And... Um, so, for example, a friend, uh, I can change uh, this sentence, uh, for example, in the... 17, there was a pattern to the spread. A friend or relative would see, of, I can say, I would, uh, was able to see the victim suffering from a laughing attack. Doesn't, doesn't make any sense for you? Sorry, which line were you reading? Say again, just uh, the number. 17. 17. 17. 17. There, friend... there was a pattern, pattern to the spread. Right. A friend or relative would see the victim suffering from a laughing attack and a few hours, uh, etc. So I change it like I, cause I build this, this sentence in this way. A friend or relative was able to see the victim suffering from a laughing attack. Yeah, but here you you can't replace would because would is not about ability. Would is about uh, a possibility. Two part Depends. It could be about possibility, that's true, or it could be about a repeated action. Those are the two general uses of would. There's also a polite request, but that's not here. So a friend or relative would see. So that is about a repeated action in the past, which is a little different in Italian. But like Italian, <laughs> if, if, you understand, if you understand Portuguese, uh, the example that I said to um, Sergio, is, is, is the same, same in Italian. Sorry, that's my cat, sorry, trying to destroy my living room. Um, so so in, in Italian, uh, you have uh, andare, right? Yeah. And in the past, you could say, you can't say andarebbe, can you? Can you say that? Yeah, andrebbe. Andrebbe. So that's what? They would go? I, I don't know Italian. Is it they would go or I would go? They would have go. Uh, in the past, they would have go. Mm, they would have gone. Are you sure? It translates to that. Uh, give me a second. Let me just double check rather than guess. Hold on one second. Because what I, I just want to point out something to make this clear. Hang on a second. Um, what did I say before, Sergio? I said, I said I would go to 
school every day when there was no bus, right? And that, sh that the example I gave was um, I would go to school every day when there was no bus. And I said, eu ia, eu ia para a escola todos os dias quando não havia autocarro, right? Eu ia. So if I, say, if I say that in Italian, I don't know if this is correct, but I would... Google Translator is saying, vorrei andare a scuola, scuola. Does that make sense? Yeah, or, makes sense, yeah. So it's in correct. English, okay, so in English it's, I would go. And that's I would go, yeah. So that's what you're reading here in, in line 17. They would see a victim. It's not possible. No, it's a repeated action. Several times at that at that in that period, they saw people laughing, and whenever they saw people laughing, so it's a way to talk about the past, in particular if it's a repeated action. So that's why we can't substitute it with an ability word. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, I'm just saying that because I, when you speak a Latin language this issue of would as a conditional and would as an action is confusing. So that's a really good example. I hope that's a good example to show the difference. Let's go back to the chart before we run out of time completely. Let's go back to the chart for a minute. So column one, whoa, that should say column one. Column one, row one is a yes. I agree with that. What about column one, no, column three, row one. Sergio, manage to succeed in. Can we use that to talk about a general ability? Did we see that in the text? Mm, uh, maybe mention succeed. Take, take no, a look. It's yes, it's more second. formal. It's very formal. It's much formal. Look at the example. Maybe Look at the example that Hyundai mentioned about manage to. Just take a look at it and tell me, is that about general ability or is that something else? Let me find. Hyundai, where was your example? This is the beginning, right? Line 10, was it? Line... No, that was couldn't help. No, that was couldn't help. I thought it was you who came up with that. Where was managed to in the text? Which one of you came up with managed to? I don't remember. I, I did, but I don't know where it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's I I don't okay, I don't remember. I, 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 Twenty-eight. I, 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 what? Giuseppe? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay, good. Twenty-eight. The author did only managed to. Yeah. The authorities only manage to control the spread of the disease. Okay. Okay, so analyzing that sentence, what do you think? Uh, no, it's specific. It's very specific. So the answer is no. For oh. row three, column, sorry, column three, row one, the answer is no. It's not for general ability, it's only for something very specific. Okay, we've got the rest of the chart filled in except for one. So, what do you think, Mr. Yuki? In the perfect tenses, first, let's understand what that means. Um, did we see any use of the perfect tenses uh, with ability words so far? I don't know if we have any examples. Maybe we can find a quick example here. Particular. Okay. Well, let, let's try to find a real example. Let's try to find a real example if we can. So we're going to look for column two, row three, and we want to know if it can be, if can and could, can be used in the perfect tenses. Well, let's let's start with able to. So a, a perfect tense would be um, would have been able to, as in they would have been able to stop it if they had isolated people faster. They would have been able to. So it's possible to say able to in a perfect tense. Is it, 
So is it possible or impossible to use can and could in a perfect tense? To, to talk about... Yeah. Could or possible? Could or... Hmm? Well, can we find any examples? Perfect sense. Perfect... Remember, we're using the modals here, the modal verbs, only to talk about... Um, what did I say earlier? Only to talk about um, uh, ability. Not uh, only to talk about ability. Ah. So, of course, we can say could only have been be able to. Exactly. Mm. Right. So, is it possible to use? To. Is it possible to use can or could? No, you know, no, it's no, it's impossible. not. It's impossible. Only, only be able. Only would would be would would, would be able to. That's correct. Yes. So, column two in row three, the answer is no. You cannot say could have or or can have if you're talking about ability. It just yeah. doesn't work. No. Because because it will it will refer to the past. So, uh, you can only use the past with able to. So we they would have been able to. You cannot say they can have done it. It doesn't work in English. Don't ask me why. It just doesn't. <laughs> can we say would would manage to? Can I say? Uh, according to the chart, yes. Mm, yes. Would have managed to. No, you I haven't seen before such a would manage to. Would. But you can imagine a situation. Mm. Take take any sentence about ability in the past, and put it in the perfect, and see if it sounds good. Mm. And see if it sounds good. If it does, it works. To me, it sounds okay. 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 Like, for example, um, if there was enough technology, they would have succeeded in finding the cause of the dancing epidemic. They would have succeeded in finding. You can would, say that. Would have managed to... to or would have I managed say? to find. Would have managed to find. Okay. I agree. I think it works. Okay. Okay. So... I don't know where I don't know where Hande went. She didn't say goodbye. I'm deeply offended. <laughs> but uh, we're going to stop now because you have better things to do it with your life. So we're going to stop. And here, if you want to get in touch with me, here are my links. There you go. And <laughs> look at the look at the chat window. I love mushrooms. I love the mushroom article. Okay. Ahmed, why didn't you come in the class and say that? All right, we've got to stop. Um, next week, uh, on two different days, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to. We're going to do a little bit more. Uh, I think the way this is going to work is that each week we're going to pick a different theme, and then I'm going to try to give you a little homework to follow up with it. So I'll try to post a homework for you to work more with ability words and talk about health issues. And uh, I'm not sure yet. If we'll if we'll we'll follow up with this in some way in Tuesday's class. I think it's Tuesday at two GMT, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, but I'll make a post so you can take a look and see if you want to join in with uh, a little activity. Okay. okay. Any okay. final words before we go? Questions? Are we cool? Have a weekend. Great weekend. <laughs> final words. Okay. There you go. Okay, so okay. we're going to stop now. I'll, I'll post a little follow-up to, to give you some, uh, some practice with this on your own over the weekend. And I'll be back next Tuesday for the next class, if I'm not mistaken. Have a good weekend, everyone. See you hey, Monday. I'll, take care. Have a good Mario weekend. John. Happy See mushrooms. You. Have, bye -bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Have a laugh mushroom. <laughs> Have a laughing mushroom. <laughs>